are just minutes away from kickoff. Stay tuned for Houston Dynamo and Vancouver Whitecaps here on MLS Season Pass on Apple TV. After missing the last game due to yellow card accumulation, suspension in midfield, Hector Herrera is out. They do make one change in the back. Matias Laborda, a rare game as a sub last time out against San Jose. The visitors, Vancouver, are sixth. The home team, Houston, is seventh. And off we go. First touch of the ball by Vancouver Whitecaps FC. Houston and Vancouver played quite a match on July 20th in Vancouver. Sporting Kansas City. Skia. Trying to play in Ibrahim Aliyu. Aliyu against Laporta. Nicely done. Cuts it back. Chance to poke it home. And it's a goal for Kabalchik. Oh, but the flag has come up. And just as the ball, just as it gets played just now. Yeah, it's the right call. It's a really good line as well from Vancouver. Houston thought they've done enough to take the lead. Look at the numbers that they're getting into the box as well. But the, celebra the celebrations were. Here's Mikaeli, he's giving the ball away. It was intercepted by Raposo. It was on the feet of Pico. Now back to Raposo. Taken down here by Pedro Vite. And a shot as Steve Clark is called into action. It wasn't a very clean look on goal. Artur disrupted that shot by Ryan Gold. I think what they've just got to do, they have to soak up the pressure. They have to get numbers forward at some point, but they have to do it at the right times. Here's a number coming forward. It's number 11, Papa Pico. And he rounds Mikael. And Steve Clark is there to cut down that tight angle shot. Ache Ache injury. Again, Ben Olsen told us it's a hamstring. It's not too bad, but he will miss a few games. Artur's coming forward. A chance here for Ponce. And Ezekiel Ponce with a shot that goes wide to the far post. Laporta steps out to defend, and he ended up getting a piece of that ball away now. Oh, a challenge put in by Pedro Vite! And Vite is carrying around a yellow card. The foul that's been given here, however, is determined to be. Yeah, Look at this. It's all about where the contact is. Oh, I think, I think the contact, if you're giving a free kick, I think the contact is actually inside the box. The contact's inside the box. Uh, there was a foul inside the penalty area. Final decision, penalty kick. He's seen three penalty kicks this year. He saved one. And now late in the first half, it's Ponce against Takaoka. It's a right footed drive by Ponce. And Takaoka did get a piece of it, but it is in for a goal. And Houston, in the final moments of the first half, have grabbed the lead in this all-important game in front of the home crowd. At Shell Energy Stadium. They got their penalty by committing men forward. Great credit to Takaoka because he dives the right way. It's that right hand. It's really strong. Houston won Vancouver nil. And obviously all of that occurring in the final moments of stoppage time. Now the whistle blows to end the first half. In the back of his mind going into the second half and it would have been one challenge and Vancouver would have been down to 10 men so it's a sensible thing from Vanny Sartini to have done. Good choice, Eric. I mean Bossy. He was fouled. That set up the penalty. Ponce scored! He has another chance! Nice ball played in by Kovalchik. Maybe one now. Raposo. Ryan Raposo delivery. Pico's the target. You also had an arriving runner. Alessandro Schultz. Another dangerous ball. Oh my goodness. A header just wide. Raposo coming off. Ryan Raposo out. Brian White in. So I think what we'll see now is Pico coming over to the right in a diamond. White going up front with gold. Got a skier. Bossy, good ball. Once he pushed it back forward, Kadaskia plays it. You've got an arriving runner in Kowalczyk and then Dorsey. Physical play by Gold. He wins the ball back from Kadaskia and goes for goal. And a dive to his right. For a fairly easy save in the end by Steve Clark. But Vancouver deals with it. Second ball coming back in here, perhaps. Got a ski ops to push it out. Dorsey, that ball took a deflection. Oh! And it hits the crossbar. Spianchenko denied his first goal of the year by the Woodwork. It's again down the right hand side. Dorsey's delivery. The majority of this game has been magnificent. And it's a great header as well from Spianchenko. Heads it back where he comes from. Just watch the goalkeeper. He can do nothing. 
other than hope for the crossbar comes to Vancouver's rescue and it does exactly that but what a ball in now a moment of some calmness for Vancouver Pico lifts it into the box oh Campo into the game his first touch of the ball is a header that he snaps it's a few games it's not that bad Ben Olsen said but it's a hamstring so it's a few games he said you can't replace him more on that in a moment, but Pico to Brian White, and Brian White is back, and he has made his presence felt in this game. Great run by Vancouver, ball served in by Pico, and it's 1-1 on the goal by Brian White. An equalizer for Whitecaps FC. And it's been coming, there's no question about it, it's been coming. Fans want to see some more urgency, you can hear that from the crowd here at Shell Energy Stadium. With the cross field by Daniel Sanderson, that is it.